We are in September 2022, and it seems that Superbase become really, really famous. Superbase, it's an amazing tool to create a database on one click. No joke, but on not only a database. You can do authentication, storage, etc., etc. So let's have a quick look and let's try to implement it with Next.js. So here we are on the Superbase website and it says that it's an open source Firebase alternative. First, I love this definition because as a Firebase user since years, I immediately understand what it is. You can start a project with a Postgres database, which is the main difference with Firebase here, because mainly uh, Firebase is in no SQL and Postgres it's SQL. So that's really cool to discover that we finally got an option as like a serverless option with uh, SQL authentication, instant API, real time, etc., etc. And we've got a quick demo here, and it seems to be very cool because when you look at all the tables with the IDs, etc., etc., if you did some SQL before, you seem to be very familiar to it. So what I propose you to do is let's look at the documentation. Of course, you can go on the website and read everything in here. And I've been using this tool since two weeks now, created some project with it, and I love it. Honestly, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the documentation first. And yeah, here I gotta say that the documentation is very well fulfilled. So basically, we've got uh, stuff to learn about features. But what we're gonna do here, we are going to go down and click on Next.js, okay? And we've got uh, some kind of tutorial here with Next. All right, so when we go down here, we got all the commands to start building our application. So what I propose you to do at first is to follow this quick tutorial. So I'm going to copy paste and in here, I already got my VS code open. So I'm going to create a next app in here. Yes. All right. Superbase Next.js. Amazing. And then I will enter into uh, the project. And Superbase Next.js, yes, yes, because I got several Superbase <laughs> uh, project. I'm going to type code, and here I'm going to close this and get back in here. All right, I got my project in here running. That's amazing. I'm going co to continue to, let's install only the additional dependency. So yeah, so here I'm going to install again this dependency in here. All right. Then I have to create an env.local file, local, and inside of it, I need to put my information in here. All right. And at this point, I need to configure my Superbase clients. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open again another thing. And here I'm going to create my Superbase account. But actually me already got one, but I'm going to create a new one just to, yeah, there we go. So choose organization. I'm going to click there and I got an organization. Oh my God, I've reached my limit. So let me delete <laughs> one of my projects and doing it again. So now I can try again to create a project. So I'm going to open this and normally, okay, there we go. So let's call it uh, Next.js Superbase. Uh, yes, Next.js Superbase, okay. Let's say that here I'm going to generate a big password. Okay, it's copy and I'm going to click on create a new project. All right, guys, this is done. We have our uh, Superbase uh, created. So basically what I need to do is to take my Superbase URL and my Superbase URL is in here. So because there is my head here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to copy paste this in here. All right. And my public in here, API key. And 
there we go. So normally it's done. Uh, what we gotta do is uh, to go on uh, the SQL editor, okay? And this SQL editor, if we look at the, the there we go. Here we've got what we're gonna enter, and this SQL command will create for us, okay, a table profile with policies. So if you never did some SQL, it's really cool because here you get some SQL that you can directly inject. So I'm going to click on SQL editor in here, okay, and I'm going to click on a new query. I'm going to inject this profile in here. So I'm going to copy paste and there we go. Here we've got our SQL query that will create my profile. I'm going to click on run and there we go. <laughs> Success, no row return. But now if I go on my uh, database, I got my profile which is here. And if I go on my tables also, I got my profile that are here with columns such as ID, updated at, username, etc, etc. Which is very cool is that now Superbase generated some code for us. So if we go on API down there and we go on tables and view, look at that. We've got profiles and which is really cool, you've got all the code generated there that you can use to select elements, read, write, even filter. You can even filter stuff, which is really cool. The code is already generated, all right? So we can continue. Now I've got to create this uh, Utils Superbase client. I'm going to create a new folder called Utils. And in Utils, I'm going to touch, what is the name? Superbase client dot GS. There we go. And if I open it, I got it there. And in here, all right, so I'm going to import the client. So let's create client from superbase uh, superbase gs there we go so i got my client just there then i will of course so this one i'm going to copy paste then have my two keys that i just entered okay and at the end i'm going to export const superbase so i'm going to export my client so i guess my client will be uh, available um everywhere in the app and then I will be um, I will I will work on calling it everywhere I need it okay uh, then what I need to do so I have to go on my components and create a hot.js so for now I don't get any components so now I can close this and I need to create um, a new folder for my components. All right. So my components are here and I get to create an auth.js file. There we go. And in this auth.js file, so I will have a main function. Okay. So this main function will be exported. So export default function auth, all right, and in here I will have to import, okay, from React my user state and of course my Superbase client, okay, so I'm going to use the state and Superbase, and then in it what I will have is a big part which is here, so I'm going to copy paste I'm going to return some gs6 which which is there okay and let's look a bit on how it will work so basically I will have my uh, state loading in here that will handle the loading I guess the email and then this login function and which is cool in here we have a, a try catch we see that we have superbase.hoth.signin with opt with an email object that is thrown up in this. All right, so we continue. Then we will have an account page. So I'm going to copy paste to, to go uh, faster in here. Account.js. And here it's basically the same. We have several functions to get the current user. So we see that we can call the hoth and get session function. Then we can be 
um, we can get the current get current user, which is the function in here. And what we're gonna do, we are going to call superbase, and we are going to go to the database from file with the select option, etc., etc., to get our uh, username. Then we will set the data from the username. Then the latest page is the index page, so I go there and I create my... Uh, well, actually, it's already created, so I can delete this mistake. There we go. Here we've got our application there, and what I'm going to do simply, I'm going to copy-paste all this code and change it by this. All right, that's amazing. Now I'm going to type npm run dev, and I hope it's going to work. Okay, I got my application running in there and I'm going to open my localhost 3000. And look at that, that's so cool, I got my app running. So let's try now to uh, create our um, first account actually, because there's nothing uh, in here. And if I go on my authentication part, there is no user register, so normally, I, to, I should type fake email test at yopmail.com and it will send to me a magic link and there we go. If I go on my auth and I reload, we see that here I got a waiting for verification fake test email which is really cool. Uh, and yeah, let's go, <laughs> let's check it on yopmail.com which is a, a fake email address that we can have. And there we go. And now I'm going to click on confirm my email. And this magic link will make it like this. So I arrive on the page, okay, where if I look uh, quickly at the code, okay, if there is a session, we go on the auth that uh, file that we created there. And if there is, uh, there, if there is no session, sorry, we go on the auth. Otherwise, we go on to the account. So that's really cool because right now I'm on the account. And if we look closer at the function that we got, we got the function get user. So basically, here there is my user. Okay, all right. Um, we could console log it or put it on on the view if you want, we wanted to. There is a get profile also, and there is an update profile function. And if we look at uh, the update function, which is here, we've got a from profile upset in here that will upset our, um, basically, our new user. So let's try, let's say that uh, my name is Guillaume and my website is um, Guillaume. And I click on update and if I get back on the app and I go on the table and I go on profile, look at that guys, I got everything that I wanted to. And that's really cool, that's really fast to use. Um, if I wanted to add a new field, what I could do in here is just basically uh, edit my table, all right? And here I could add a new column as we see down there, so I'm going to put it in here again. <laughs> I'm I could go add a new column and I could choose my type, etc., etc., which is really, really cool, so I'm going to, yes, confirm. Right. Otherwise, I could write again a new query. And which is also amazing is that you can create as much queries as you want, you know, with Superbase. You could say that you want to drop tables, um, you want to grant access, etc., etc. Um, it's the same for the database. There's also an option storage that I didn't try yet. But here we see that there is an avatar uh, um, storage. So Basically, here I don't get it, but I uh, I saw on other versions that I could have um, an avatar um, image upload uh, session, and it's working very very well, honestly. Um, yes, also you got a logs explorer that you can uh, set up. You can generate reports, and of course you've got edge functions in here that are amazing, also. Um, it's the same as um, Firebase, so I feel very, very comfortable using Superbase coming from Firebase. It's as simple as this.
So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm going to put this quick example of Next.js with um, Superbase on um, my GitHub account, and I will just provide it to you. So just download it, change your environment locals in here that you got, okay, and just give it a try because um, adding data, uh, selecting data, uh, look at that, just look at that query just really fast. Um, from the database profile, I want to select the username, the website, the avatar URL. Let's say that later we will have a, um, let's say, a, a role. You want you want to have a role. Let's say you have a role later or anyway. Uh, and you can create the query that you want and you can specify if you want an array or an object, a single object. Here, basically, we will have an object. Uh, it's It's really, really easy to use, so simple. I'm really in love with um, Superbase. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you need this template, just get it into the description. And thank you very much. See you soon.